Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Welcome to those of you that are new. This is going to be a reading about your person, whoever it is that you're thinking about, that's on your mind, um, what you need to know um, about them. So in my mind, I'm kind of just going to say they are and then whatever car comes out. So some of you guys, this could be an extra message, escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Some of them could be on an actual vacation or just, you know, hiding away. Um, it's also what I'm getting, but I'm going to continue. So there will be an extended to this video. So if you'd like to join the extended, the link to my Patreon is below. Um, as you are, if you're interested in purchasing my deck situations or any of the other decks I'm using, which is the Egyptian tarot, that was a gift. Again, thank you. And uh, um, Sabila Oracle is what I'm using, okay? So I'm going to make this, um, this will be, I'll be doing a lot more shorter readings like this. And like I said, if you want to join the extended, support the channel, get extra messages from my Instagram or TikTok, uh, book personal readings, all that information is going to be below the video description where it says show more. Okay. So I'll let you know what I'm going to uh, go further and extend it as I go. Okay. So what you need to know about them, your person, and they are in a commitment. Okay. A long-term relationship so some of them are actually in some type of commitment with another person or there's a long-term relationship that they're involved with so I'm gonna see uh, you know what that is about and we have the world card okay they closed the chapter on a long-term relationship so some of them were in a very long relationship with someone and they just closed a chapter on it okay because we have the world card and that's about completion and so things are over so they could be like you know recovering from that situation so it's a new chapter in their life because they just completed a long-term relationship okay so let's see why did this relationship come to a close number 21 can be significant as well because of the absence okay somebody was not present they weren't there. They weren't given to the relationship um, as well. Like either they just weren't physically there, mentally there, supportive in some type of a way. So 21 is a three and there's another three here. So there's two threes. So this definitely could have been a karmic person they were involved with. But there was just an absence here. So I'm going to go further into what was the absence So we have pensioner. So this is like somebody that is kind of like a provider. So I feel like there was an absence of the person really providing for them, um, giving them what they need. Because a pensioner is somebody that's retired. Um, and maybe they didn't retire their old ways um, as well. 37, which is also a 10. But there was an absence of this uh, retirement or savings uh, of some type of money involved. Uh, some type of support is kind of what I'm getting. Okay. All right. So let me push this over here. What else do you need to know about your person? They are getting signs. Okay. They're getting synchronicities. They're getting signs. They see in the 1111, uh, 222, 333, or the eight, or even infinity symbols. So what's the synchronicities that they're, they are getting about this two of swords. They're getting signs that things have come to some type of stop. Now this could have had to do with you or somebody else, but it's definitely some type of stalemate. Um, this could be a block, this could be a ghosting type of energy. So maybe they're getting signs that either things have come to some type of stuck, stalemate, or signs that somebody is uh, blocking them, okay? So that's what the two of swords is all about. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah, because of a fight. So you guys came to some type of fight um, over something, a struggle. You see there's two people here struggling there. And then we have here 35, which is also an 8. So that could be that too. So they could be uh, getting signs that you guys are now at some type of stalemate because due to some fight either with them or other people. So what's the main energy behind this quarrel? What happened here?
the consultant. So either it was something that was said or lack of what was said, okay? Maybe somebody wanted to consult with the other person and the other person didn't. It led to some type of disagreement, argument of some type. Uh, number 19, that is also a 10, but it had to do with some something that was uh, consulted, okay? Or maybe somebody wanted to have a conversation about a fight um, be due to some type of stalemate or blocking. Um, either you blocked them or they blocked you, some type of ghosting, but it there was some type of fight between the two of you or it caused the fight because somebody was uh, blocking or just staying stuck, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting. All right. So let's get one last message and then I'm going to take this over to the extended. I'm going to ask, you know, what was the long-term commitment that this person was in? You know, was it a, with another person? Was it with a uh, job? You know, what, what it uh, might have been, okay? And then I may uh, find out further signs that they may be getting. All right, so. So I'm just going to get what your person is focused on at this time. What are they focused on? They're focused on family. Okay. Blood ties, inner circle. So a lot of them, this is actual family members that they are uh, currently focused on at this time. Um, let me pull this back a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, family members that they're focus focused on at this time. And um, what is this blood ties inner circle energy? Is this family or what is this? Six of chalices. Okay. Six of cups. So it is children. And as you see, there's children here. Okay. Some of them have actual two kids. Looks like it could be a girl and a boy here for some of you guys um, specifically. So, but this is also, um, they also could be focusing on some type of returning, returning to a family um, as well. Because Six of Cups is about like returning. Um, so let me see. What else? What is the Six of Cups? What they're focused on? Delay. All right. So what I'm getting here is, is their focus right now. This person is coming through is they're focused on family, okay? And it's like they're trying to delay either from returning or something to do with the past, something happened in the past. So I will for, I will further clarify and extend it what this is about, 36, which is also a nine. But it's like they're delaying something from returning um, or delaying a behavior from returning, okay? So a lot of you guys, this person definitely had some type of issue with a family member, uh, you guys could have been in a family, but there were some fights, um, disagreements, stalemates, possibly blocking and ghosting of people. But there is some type of delay here, or that's what they're focusing on delaying. Or it also could be some family members that are trying to focus on delaying a return of you or return of something that happened in the past. Okay. All right, you guys, so if you want to join the extended, the link to my Patreon is below. Uh, please be sure to like this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know that you want me to do these videos um, and any other way that you can support the channel. I appreciate it. And all those different ways are listed below the video. So if you're new to the channel, also subscribe. So I will see the rest of you guys over in the extended. Thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. So you guys have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Till next time, next video, peace, love, and light.